Is there a Nigerian prince? <laughs> I have never met him. It's important to know that your personal email account is typically the central hub of everything you do online. Whether you create accounts on social media sites or on financial services sites or exchanges or with online wallets, whatever you do, you typically have to provide an email address. And all of those communications come back to typically one email account, which is your personal email account. If you don't protect that email account and it gets compromised, the attackers then in turn will have access to all the various things you have connected to it. So securing your email is one of the most important things you can do. Most providers out there have the ability for you to one, choose a strong password. The second piece is that most email providers also allow you to choose a second factor of authentication. When you have your email account, you're going to want to go into the security settings and make sure that you add that second factor. Now that could be an authenticator app, or it could be a hardware token like a YubiKey. Often, email services will allow you to add recovery email addresses or recovery phone numbers to your account. It is highly recommended that you not add an SMS number as your recovery method. It is also not recommended that you add an email account that has a weaker security posture as your primary email system. You wanna make sure that that other account has just as high of security as your primary email account. Because if you don't, attackers can break into that one and then just reset your password to your primary one. There are techniques out there called phishing or spear phishing even, where an attacker may find your email address, figure out who you are, and they may send a targeted email directly to you. That may ask you to log into a site that they think you may have an account with, like an exchange or an online banking account or a social media account. And the email look might look legit. It actually may look like it's coming from that provider. That's a real, you know, straightforward, almost easy method of an attacker to get access to something in your world by sending you an email that prompts you to do something. Log into a site, visit a website, open an attachment, click on a type a link that goes to a malicious site. That's a very popular method of attack that you should be aware of when dealing with your own security. I think a lot of us have received emails from a Nigerian prince, but that is a scam that's called a 419 scam, where they typically will say that they're a Nigerian prince and um, you're now in, going to inherit from them $45 million and um, they need some information from you. It's not legit. There are no Nigerian princes, princes or princesses offering people millions of dollars just randomly on the internet. You should be very aware and very vigilant and always you know, check the sender, make sure you understand where that's coming from, check the links to make sure that if they say they're going to twitter.com, that they're actually going to twitter.com. The other thing you can look at is just sort of the structure of that email. Lots of times, you know, poorly executed phishing emails will just have odd problems like weird spaces in the subject or weird, weird characters that show up or broken graphics or broken, you know, just broken things that just look off in that email. And all else fails and you don't know, you know, if this thing is legitimate or not, reach out out of band to the company that is sending it to you. So if it's coming from your bank and you don't really understand if this is legit or not, pick up the phone and call your bank directly and, and validate that information. If you receive an email, it might be a legitimate email from a provider. And then once you go and visit that site, always validate the address bar. Make sure you look at that and say, you know, I normally log into facebook.com you know, when I receive these types of emails. And now this says facebooks.com. Something's off. <laughs> this probably isn't the place where I should log into. <laughs>